guys? It's Jay Titan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. The situation um, today, heavy leg day today. Then on Sunday, we're gonna go medium to light. Lots and lots of reps. I like to do 20 sets of leg presses. Go. demonstrate the benefit of single leg instead of especially after you squatted your heavy leg presses um, kind of out of breath to be doing both leg at the same time though it burns more calories like that you know this is a better way to build teardrop get that nice sweep in the quad right leg first turn your toes in notice you point your toes in you hit the outer Alternate. Point the toes in, hit the outer. Let's get that sweep in the quad. Just the opposite. Single legs. Show the opposite. Point them out. When you point it out, you're getting on here. The teardrop, that's how you get that to come in. If you want to do a superset, after both your legs are broken, you, know, you can put on maybe one more little plate, burn them out, both legs. Kill yourself at the end of the workout. I mean, you got to be obsessed with this thing. As soon as I wake up in the morning, lifestyle. shake. Lifestyle. I mean, I'm not even up for three minutes. I already got 60 grams of protein. Preach. I'm chugging three, three uh, gal um, bottles of water Preach. all day long. Preach. It's like a job. Preach. <laughs> <laughs> two gallons of water a day, you know, because I'm 260, so I need two gallons of water a day. Mike's getting like a gallon, a gallon and a quarter. I don't know how much he weighs. He hasn't revealed that to me yet. Um, you know, I'm guessing maybe 200. I don't know. Anyway, all right, guys, covering from that near disaster with a leg press. Good thing for the safety. It's a heavy day, so full rack failure. All right, guys. Same thing with the leg press. At the end, this is how we're facing off. Point your toes in. That's it. Toe in a little bit more. Okay. Take it down. Quad. The outer part, this is how you get that round sweep right here. You can isolate it, flexing at the top. You don't want to lock the knee all the way out though. You don't want to put that much pressure on the back of the knee, especially if you have heavy weight on there. You never want to. And then same concept as we were doing on the extension. What you can do after you do both legs, then you can go two legs at a time, super set it out, burn it out, absolutely kill yourself. If you don't feel like you're going to throw up after you've done legs, exhaustion, exhaustion. you didn't do legs. Exhaustion. All right, guys. Finishing off straight leg deadlifts. We just did extensions, leg curls. I see a lot of people doing this wrong. You want to keep your feet completely straight together. You're not going all the way down to here. You want to go from about right here to about right here. Come all the way up, it takes, the, it takes the tension off your hamstring completely. You're going from about here to about here. Really the only time you want to come all the way up is catch your breath. It's all about going that extra little mile, go to failure. So when you run out of breath, stand up here, take a couple extra breaths, bang a few out, keep tension on your butt, your hamstrings the whole time, especially the girls. I see a lot of girls doing this wrong. You know, you think you're doing something special by going all the way down to here. It's really not. It's putting a lot of pressure on your lower back. Very easy to hit yourself like that. 